Well, a man is dead after authorities say he shot at officers and then a deputy used a squad vehicle to hit him. That is our top story on tonight's 10 at 10. I'm Amy Hocker and I'm Kelsey Carlson. Investigators say it all started with a domestic assault this morning. Fox 9's Mary McGuire has been on the scene all day and joins us live from Mounds View tonight with the very latest Mary. Well, investigators were here for about six hours throughout the day, but they have since left the scene. But you can still see the aftermath of this deadly encounter behind me, the fence part of it that has been toppled over. We are told that this all started as a domestic assault incident at a local hotel about a half a mile away from here. There are pieces from debris about halfway through our yard right now. Relaxing at home on Wednesday morning, Lexi M. Holt heard two gunshots and ran to her window. And I look out her window and I see two pieces of my fence are gone and kind of shattered. And there's a guy laying in my backyard. Outside, a flurry of police activity and a man who looked like he was seriously hurt. There was quite a bit of blood on his face. Just before 11, deputies responded to a reported domestic assault where shots were fired at a hotel about a half a mile away from M. Holt's house. After speaking with the victim, they tracked the man involved in the assault to the 5200 block of Pinewood Court. The sheriff's office says he started shooting at them when they pulled up and a deputy rammed the man with their squad car into a fence. The police said he was he's been causing trouble today and then um, he shot at the police and those were the gunshots that I heard. They shared these photos with us, which show bullet holes in a squad car, as well as a cocked handgun that was located at the scene. The man was taken to the hospital where he later died. Now, the identity of the man is expected to be released by the BCA in the coming days. Reporting live in Moundsview, Mary McGuire, Fox 9. All right, thanks, Mary.